Welcome to the sixth Sunday of Easter. Our gospel today is John chapter 14. Now, feel free to pull out your Bibles. We are doing verses 15 through 21. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you, and you, oh, excuse me, and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Because I live, you will live also. On that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me. And those who love me will be loved by my Father. And I will love them and reveal myself to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Well, the question is, what are Jesus' commandments then? Well, glad you should ask that. Actually, Matthew uh, 22 uh, tells us, well, Jesus tells us in Matthew 22. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Now this sums up all ten commandments right there. The ten commandments, yes. The ten commandments, the law that God thought that we needed to live by. To love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind sums up the first two commandments. To love your neighbor as yourself, well, that sums up the next eight. And as I said last week, I firmly believe that these can be all the laws we as a people, regardless of our faith, need to live by. If, if we would only do it. But I'm not going to discuss all people of the world. I'm just going to discuss us Christians right now. That's because too often people are Christian on Sunday, but indifferent the rest of the week. Jesus is talking about living our faith each and every day for him. It's not about being perfect. Hold up in a cave someplace in constant prayer like some of our early church fathers did. They fled the world to avoid sin, to avoid temptation. Well, to devote themselves to God with very little outside contact. One early church father even lived for years in a cave until it dawned on him that his faith is useless if he's not using it to serve others. This is what Jesus wants us to do. His commandments are about loving and serving others beyond ourselves. We were just talking about this in confirmation last Sunday. We discussed what Luther wrote in his writing, The Freedom of a Christian. Now, if you look at 1 John, it says in chapter 1, we are slaves to sin and cannot help ourselves. Well, in other words, we're, you know, we're just flawed that way. But Jesus sets us free to live in grace, in glory, and in joy. And we're here to share that joy with each other. Sin is still here, and we're certainly not perfect. But, and that's a big but, Jesus took away the sour, I mean, give me the power of sin and the fear of sin that people who don't know Jesus have. We have to remember, though, as intimidating as this might be, we always have to remember that we're not alone. Now, I'm not talking about in some X Files way or that History Channel guy, the one with the crazy hair that 
always has that show about ancient aliens. No, we're not talking about that we're not alone in that respect. Jesus is very clear that we are not going to be left alone. His specific words that he will not leave us orphaned. It's going to have an advocate that's here for us. So, with those words, we can find comfort to get through each and every day because we're not alone. So that brings us back to where we started. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. Jesus says again in verse 21 from our gospel reading, They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me. And those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. Jesus says that twice. If we love him, we will keep his commandments, which means I think we should pay really close attention to this. He doesn't say that we should keep them. He doesn't say, oh, you, you should strongly consider keeping these commandments. No. He says, keep these commandments. He's very definite about what we're supposed to do. There is no ifs, ands, or buts. He's very clear. There is no gray area. And I'm going to call us all, all of us, call us all out on this. Loving God, well, that doesn't seem quite so hard to do. But you know what gets tricky is the loving people, loving each other, especially for those that we find less than lovable. I'm starting today, well, I'm saying that today, starting today, this is what we need to do. We will love people, not just those people we like. We may not agree with them, but we can still treat people with love and respect. We will also think and speak well of them. We will care for them. And you know what? Starting today, I think we need to be content with the blessings that we have. And more so to be happy for the blessings that our neighbor has, even when what they have is more than what we got. By keeping Jesus' commandments, we're expressing our love for Jesus in real and profound ways. That's just what he wants us to do. So let's do it. God bless all of you. Have a wonderful day.